Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Trevor Simeon's Broncos going up against the Vikings. Thank you for the All right, Larry, it's one of the new jewels of the NFL, no doubt, as you get a look inside U.S. Bank Stadium here in Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd person. decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks. And look oh, at yeah. this. It's Persian. It's Persian. It's picked up by the Broncos, and they will take over with a football just outside of the 10 at the 12-yard oh, yeah, right line. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. Let's just call it as it is. But definitely not your own red zone. <laughs> yeah, your own we're coming to bring the hat. It's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, mm -hmm. and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble now, great field position. <laughs> On first and 10, Simeon. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper in the territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Back to throw, Simeon. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Harrison Griffin. In there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. To throw with Simeon. And this is going to be incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time when you're getting ready to play a big-time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting. Better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. So they had great field position, but a three-play drive that actually goes backwards, uh -huh. and then they kick the field goal. And I think the key sequence in there, the key phrase you just gave us, a three-play drive. Had the momentum, totally great field position, anymore. unable to move the football. I'm not man. Not playing. Heavy contact. <laughs> he is knocked down hard. Oh, bro, we got the man. Don't get in this. Don't get in this plan. Five wide shit. Don't do that. You ain't trying to win. Now a first down throw. Keenum eluding the pressure right, and eventually yeah. taken down here. Great coverage downfield. You ain't trying Derek to win, Wolf man, able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. A shotgun snap for Keenum. Forced out to his left. Throw left side on target to Thielen. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's not only Adam Thielen, that's the pro bowler Adam Thielen who had 91 catches this year and over 1,200 yards a career high. We always look for great stories when we do games. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. How about that one of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on? That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. The Denver Broncos, they missed out on the playoffs for the second straight year. Their offense coming back onto the field here. but And that's coming off that Super Bowl 50 win. I don't know that we expected them to go back-to-back-to-back to back to back or anything like that, but I certainly don't think we saw them missing the playoffs the last two years, right? No, you're yeah, correct on that one. And a big part of it is, what's one of those old adages in, in, in yeah. sports? The defense so travels and defense watches, is a constant. Who watches on Broncos YouTube. defense has been exactly that. I mean, it. look, they were third overall in total defense in 2017. So the idea that they're going to drop to that type of a record with a defense that good, that just tells you about all the offensive struggles they've had. Yeah, we mentioned the quarterback troubles and just 5-11 in 2017 for Denver. <laughs> and all the way home for a Broncos score. 
Emmanuel right. Sanders, 49 yards. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. I got my mom. Everybody likes to see the long ball it. throw. You but when it. you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. Need it, man. This is taken about Ooh. seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it actually serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit it. And and he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Shaquille Barrett. From that outside linebacker spot, he's able to get in there for a loss of nine. See the buku heat. There's Keenum now on second down. Steps away to his left. Nope. Going, thrown across his body, and nope. it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Nope. And that pick just sets him up dude, dude. beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college, and our defense coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. Well, that gets them three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. They'll run for it with Anderson. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. Oh, if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Now Brandon McManus for the Bronco field goal. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And McManus able to put it through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. Minnesota so after the hoop. pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, I most of us want to focus on the offense. Play. You know what Boy, side of the ball I played play. on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Man, Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down. But now before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And give him a gain of 37. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Vikings holding the football. They're in the midst of a nice drive, but facing a third and long here. Freaky bum middle. And 
And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. On third and long, it's Keenum. And an alley to run. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. to A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. And he'll be knocked down sideways right around the 26. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. 18 big yards on that one, and a Denver first. On first down, it's Charles again. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, yeah. they were rallying to the football pretty Birds quickly. Know. If a nigga can't stop you from doing nothing, you keep going. Here's Simeon now on second down. Left side here to Sanders. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Make him When you see zone change. defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Short yardage situation. Here's Charles. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Again, it's Charles. And some room to work. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, Jamal Charles. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The Broncos on third down. Just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Anderson. And now running right through it. A yeah, great effort there to shed the Minnesota contact. Who? And it helps them pick up the do? first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. They run again on first down. Anderson. And out of bounds just shy of the end zone at the one. A big run there. 29 yards and a first. Before a running back, that kind of encompasses everything right there. Terrific run, but he almost gets it to the end zone. Remember, almost didn't quite get there. Most running backs I know, they don't want to come out of the game now. They're screaming to the bench, call it again. I want to get into the end zone. And Simeon's going to sneak it. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. What you going to do, dude? Trevor Simeon with his second touchdown here in this first half. Yeah, and the my Broncos level, will extend their lead. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Now McManus on to kick this one off. Okay, you, you can't move the ball. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, 
tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. That goes for a gain of 31. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from Minneapolis after this. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll buy some time right. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second and ten, Keenum. Buying time to his left. <laughs> Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third right down. Now. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Shotgun snap for Keenum. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. And in the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And I think the ball's out. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that is going to set up third and goal. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Keenum to throw for it on four. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Bronco defense comes up big. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They'll start the drive with Jamal Charles. <laughs> and he's going to lose yardage back to his own one-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They've got to do a better job up front and create some space because they're right there, almost literally, on their own goal line. Just a couple of feet away from a safety. That could have been disastrous. Now Anderson. They find some open field here. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Well, now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. Uh, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. They run. Anderson. And some room to run now. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. 
good solid yardage he'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back and never mind Larry these two teams apparently anxious to get back at it both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three a very interesting call and one that backfires I know they're losing Charles but boy to start the second half with the onside kick risky felt like a sense of urgency from their side coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? Yeah, I'm guaranteed he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give them 14 yards there and a Denver first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. All right, here we go. Detroit. First down, here's the run with Anderson. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now now a run with anderson looking for a scene but finding none he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it they'll say no gain on the play there and now it'll be third down simian and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact incomplete I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. So three field goals for him here, and this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession. And so far, they've done a nice job of that. <laughs> Nifty move. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. On first down, Keenum. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Derek Wolf in there to get him for his second sack of the night. To throw on second down is Keenum. The left side caught by Diggs. That one goes for 24 yards. And now a first down following that long game. to his right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. Looking for Diggs and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also right, to the go. right and threw it right into it for an interception. And down he goes. Linval Joseph coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. Here we go now. Green Tenth carry now for Jamal Charles. And he's going to get this one down near the 45 yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Third and long. It's Simeon. They still can't get it. Hard throw incomplete. Man, there's a lot to think about when you're playing quarterback, isn't there? I mean, this is third and long. So your chances of completing a pass for a first down are slim to begin with. And then when you put it into some traffic, 
You're really wreaking havoc with your options, aren't you? Maybe you just got heave it into the, you know, throw it up in the stands and make sure no one can catch it. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Let's it fly for Thielen. And that's caught inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Todd Davis in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. Keenum to throw on second down. And this is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And that'll make it third down. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be a tough third and 18. Out of the gun, Keenum. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. And Quigley now on to punt as he sends this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This Ooh, one goes all up, the way man? into the end zone up, on man. the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And they'll get him down here at the 23. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Simeon now to throw. He's got it. The tight end, Jeff Hireman. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, a 22. First down at Simeon. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of six there on first. Back now at beautiful new U.S. Bank Stadium. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. So the he offense ready for a second and four. Tenth carry now for Anderson. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. C.J. Anderson and all the way home for a Bronco score. C.J. Anderson, 38 yards, and the Broncos will add on to their lead. So they went to the ground game on third, hoping to pick up the first. They also picked up a touchdown. All right, you're looking at what it is, third down. They don't care that it's third and whatever. They figure they're going to throw the ball. And when you call a running play, I think you, I think you energize them. I think you juice them up because I haven't met offensive linemen yet that likes to pass block more than they like to run block. And they opened up some nice holes there for him. And he took oh, it to the house. Know. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 17-yard line. Tight, tight. 
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Throwing on first down is Keenum. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. That throw good for four. It's second down. Keenum throwing on second. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Vikings on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. All right, here we go. On play action. Now Keenum. And he's able to find Diggs. 23 yards on the play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Keenum now on first down. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe you can expect more pass. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Shaquille Barrett. In there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Let's go. Green, 39. Third and long. It's Keenum. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Morgan. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about that? No escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jared Crick able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Play action. Now it's Keenum. Flushed out right. And some space here. And oh, it caught it up. The Broncos say they have it. They do. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple.